Hi, this is John Beeth with Let's Talk Outdoors and Go Fish Magazine. It's time for the recipe of the week. Now this week I'm going to finish my meal. Last week I had the miso soup with rockfish and now I'm going to have some coho salmon that I caught and I was up in Alaska with my wife using these little deep stingers. Check out the picture of the fish that I caught with that lure. So I have four filleted tails. Now the reason I'm using all tails is so that they cook evenly. One of the mistakes people make when they cook salmon is they have some that's thick and then another piece that's small and really thin and it cooks, it overcooks obviously. So I try to match all of my pieces so that when I'm doing a dinner party it cooks uniformly. Now I'm going to cook this approximately 12 to 16 minutes. The rule of thumb is about 12 minutes per inch but I'm going to add a little bit of liquid I'm cooking at 350 degrees. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to take some of my nice little avocado oil. This gives a completely different flavor profile. And I'm going to figure out how to open this. There we go. Brand new bottle. I'm going to get a little bit in my pan. I'm going to saute some mushrooms. Get them in there and I'm going to put those over the top and I have something here that's really a nice treat. This is not a tangerine. This is a Myers lemon. Quite different than this lemon. And I'm going to put a little bit of the juice in, yes, with these mushrooms. We'll get those all sauteed. Let them cook a little bit. And while that's happening, I'm going to use some spices on my fillets. I have some rosemary, uh, garlic powder, onion powder here, and I've got some lemon pepper. So I'm just going to lightly sprinkle that on. Just a little bit of seasoning. And no, I don't really like salt too much on my fish, but if you like salt and you know that's fine, you could add some if you want. But in my household, it's very low, low salt. Doesn't take too much. Don't want to over, overdo it. And you can rub them down a little bit. All right, that's just right. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this lime. Squeeze that in there. I'm going to roll it out. It's a tough lime. Just a little bit. That just gives that really nice citrus flavor. And it's a little bit more intense than the Myers lemon or a standard lemon. I've got to get these going here and then I'll put them on top and I'll, I'll bake up this this salmon. These mushrooms are going to take about five or six minutes. It gives you plenty of time to prep your salmon. The other thing I'm going to do today is pretty unusual. I have some broccoli and some baby carrots and I've got some smoked salmon and a little bit of sour cream and I'm going to use the Myers lemon to make a sauce, but I'm going to steam those vegetables and when they're done, I'm going to take the smoked salmon along with the sour cream sauce and pour it over the top and it's going to be a delightful vegetable dish. Something you probably haven't seen or heard of before. Starting to get there. Now if you do want a little pepper in there, that's fine. Add some pepper. Pepper's always good, whether it's on your fish or in your mushrooms. Now I want these mushrooms to finish in the oven on top of the salmon, so I'm not going to fully saute them and soften them up. I want to have a little bit of of texture to them before I put them on the salmon. Now 
And for those of you not familiar with avocado oil, avocado oil is much different than, say, an olive oil. Olive oil burns at a much lower temperature. With avocado oil, you can really get it screaming hot, and it's not going to have all that smokiness. Plus, it gives you a different flavor, and it's one of those superfoods. All right. I'm going to take these not quite sautéed mushrooms and put some over the top of all of the fillets here. And they'll finish in the oven. And while that's going on, I'll cook the side dish. And what do you do with that wonderful juice? Pour it on top. Why not? All right, let's get this in the oven. I'll set my timer for 16 minutes. Hey, we're back and the fish is almost done, but before I pull the fish out of the oven, I want to make the sauce for my broccoli and carrots. So I have my smoked salmon right here, and I've got a couple of tablespoons of sour cream. I'm going to add that right now. And next, a little bit of the Myers lemon. We're going to squeeze some of that in there. Mix that up. And now for my vegetables. I've got my vegetables here. They've been steaming. I have a wonderful fish platter here. And I'm going to put the sauce right over the top and again it's smoked salmon with sour cream and and Myers lemon just kind of mix that in and and that's the side dish and now to pull the salmon out of the oven, see what that looks like. And it looks like it is perfectly done. And here's my fish dish. There, I know. I'll put it right toward the tail. That looks like it'll be perfect. Now to get some of these vegetables in here. And I've got some really good bread in the oven to add to the meal. And this, my friends, is a wonderful salmon dish. Let me try this. I can really taste that avocado oil and the Myers lemon. It's really, really nice. Now, to pair some wine with your salmon, I have Tamarack Cellars Syrah wine. It's a red wine, and this is a fairly mild red wine, but it pairs perfectly with the salmon. Try that sometime, or any Syrah. For Let's Talk Outdoors and Go Fish Magazine, my name is John Beef. Hope to see you here next week.